Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Wordle with Art. All right. Whoa, I can't believe we have so many new folks. So welcome aboard for the March tournament. Do me one super big favor. Um, I see so many new names and I know a lot of you did sign the agreement in the description, which you just simply go and read through. There's a simple little statement that you copy into the comments and sign it so that we all know that everybody's on board. We're all in the same playing field. But there's a few names that keep popping up, and I'm not sure if you guys might have just forgot to copy the, the uh, statement in the description, or if you want to just play for fun. And you certainly can. That would just mean, of course, that please share your comments, but they just simply won't be included in the, uh, uh, the weekly updates or the finale video. So please just double check if you did uh, put your, um, um, your statement, your signed statement that you're going to play by the rules. And um, if you haven't and you want to join the tournament, please do so. I mean, I was overwhelmed. I think we might actually have close to 100 people now, which is absolutely insane. And it'll just make it uh, a, a very fun. I'm going to get slight typed in here so that you don't think I'm just going to go off um, and just talk the whole time. That looks good, but I'm not too happy because I know that these create nasty traps. Now, the next thing, and I hate the letter S because it just has like 300 different possible starting words. And the next thing I want to say is, oh, just I lost my train of thought. It's been an incredibly busy day today. Um, and I only have this 30-minute pocket between lessons. So that's why I want to try to get this Wordle done before I'm really fried because I still have two more lessons and it's already 7 p.m. Um, yes, the video, the finale video, if all goes well, will come out tomorrow. However, I'm not talking about like, you know, just when the clock strikes 12 a.m. It could be later in the afternoon on Friday. So in other words, my this video will definitely come out beforehand. So this is for the Friday Wordle, number 622, March 3rd. The finale video for the February contest should come out later that day. In fact, it might even be nighttime just because I've gotten so bogged down with other work, but it will, um, it will hopefully come out. The other final thing I want to say is that I mentioned this before, our good friend Edward Collins has come up with what appears to be a bulletproof system for me to grab all your um, comments and put them directly into a spreadsheet with um, basically just a couple mouse clicks. Ellen Sasani discovered the reason why a lot of the comments may have been flashing away, um, disappearing for no good reason, and it has to do, apparently, YouTube picks up on the fact that you might copy and paste the same comment into different YouTube channels and they view that as spam and then I think they throw it away. So in the meantime, guys, please, for the next day at least, make sure that if you visit other channels, which is, is wonderful, um, make sure that your comment on the art, Wordle with Art is unique. And like Ellen says, you could even just start it by saying, hey, Art, I got it in four. My path was whatever, you know, the four steps, okay? Just put something in there so it makes it unique and you're not just, you know, blindly copying your solution path to all the different Wordle channels. Okay, there we go. Pleasantries have been um, dispensed with, and now we have to figure out what to do with this. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I'm actually super pissed off because I know that there's a million different options here. Uh, there's a million different options. This is a cute one. She doesn't really uh, satyr, satyr rather. <laughs> Isn't that half man, half goat? You know, what's good about it is it does position the A and the T. It does position the A and the T. Um, and the A, that's a pretty good place for the A. And you get the R. God, nab, nab, nab it. Okay, I'm upset. Because that was pretty close to a wasted guess. I just want to sort of get this done so I can get ready for my next lesson. But that was not good. Um, that was not good. So now we're looking at S, T... Oh, man. I think this will be a bit of a struggle. Uh, it could be S-T-A-X. Uh, that doesn't make Well, actually, that could be... No, that could work. That could be not S-T-R because we used it, but now I don't know what else that could be. Uh Oh, 
Oh, boy. I think we're in for a rough ride here, guys. So enjoy. I mean, come on. You know it's far more entertaining to see poor Art struggle and, um, you know, slug his way out of it than to just, you know, get it in like 20 seconds like I did with uh, 50. Yep, 50. That was a good one. Darn it. Seder probably wasn't a very good guess. That was probably stupid of me. Oh, man. All right, let's maybe not assume. All right, let's try this. Could that work? You know, if I get another four, that's not the end of the world. You know, I'll start with three fours. I think the key is, again, you've got to avoid those sixes and fives. I've said that before. Those are really terrible. Um... Oh, here we go. This is a good one. Could it be could it be squat? Let's try squat. Eh, does that deserve a howl? I don't know if I want to uh, indoctrinate all the new folks who joined the Wordle with Art quite so soon. Because, eh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, all right, guys. Here we go. Are you ready? Yup, that definitely deserves a hell for a couple of reasons. First of all, three is pretty solid. That was not too uh, slow. And third, um, I just hate these S words. They drive me nuts. If you go back to some of my other videos that began with S like sh uh, shirk and a few others, I just get annihilated on them. And that was pretty darn clever if I do say so myself because it was kind of hard to conjure where that A and T went. But, oh, man, that was pretty darn clever if I do say so myself. So, finally, my first three. So, we've got a four, a four, and a three, I believe. So, I'm below four, which is good. I think that would make it a 3.67 average. And we'll just try to keep whittling away. But, yeah, that was, that was a good one. That was a very good one. I hope that um, that actually might propel me a little bit in the standings. But it's very early in the month, right? And March is a long month, guys, 31 days. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I do think that we should um, check out Squirtle. Um, by the way, did you notice that I wasn't trying to remember what the word was? Because I don't even bother memorizing anything when you have three tiles, one of which is green. Because I figure at that point, there's so many combinations. Why not just kind of like, you know, come up with something good? I think Seder didn't really help too much except reposition the A and the T. Um... All right, so here we go. Let's go to Squirtle real quick. And for those, of course, who are new to the tournament, um, we like to check Squirtle because it is a pretty popular algorithm that um, you can use basically just to see how you stack up um, against the computer. And it's been programmed, obviously, to kind of like come up with the optimum fastest possible solution. All right, so we have the answer with squat. And sometimes I like to predict it, and I'm pretty good at that. But in this case, I'm not going to even bother because I don't know what the word is that Squirtle uses when you have the green S and a yellow A and a yellow T. So let's just have fun and see if we beat it. That's the best we can hope for, right? So I'm going to put in my path, even though it says that it would have done stray, which is actually an anagram of Seder, isn't it? Okay. And then I went with squat. And look at that. Uh, we tied. In fact, that's so funny. It's basically the same thing. It's three steps. The only difference in the middle step is just that Seder and Stray are anagrams of one another. And by the way, I'm a little OCD. Um, I just want to make sure I'm pronouncing uh, Seder correctly. Uh, that's going to drive me nuts if I've been saying it the wrong way the whole time. Sadder. No, it's sadder. Oh, my guys. I hope you guys don't think I'm an idiot. It's sadder. Sadder. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yikes. It's a sadder. It's a sadder. Oh, guys. And I'm supposed to be a, a tutor? Oh, my goodness. I don't know what my students would think. Hopefully not too many of them will see this video. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Mum's the word about Art's terrible pronunciation of sadder. 
But in the meantime, I think that's a fairly good solve. I tied with Squirtle, so that's not necessarily the best thing in the world, but I think Squat was pretty well done. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a good one. Um, I'm looking forward to sending that video out tomorrow. I can't wait. I hope you enjoy it. For those who are new to the March tournament, uh, please watch it because it may inspire you to do an amazing job for March because guess what? You may be one of the folks in the top 10 and then the ultimate top three and the beyond ultimate, the champion for March 2023. It might be you and I will see you guys tomorrow.